And now, your first alert five weather. The Rockies are still rocking some great color. Tin Cup Pass, it runs from St. Elmo to Tin Cup. It's full of aspen groves. The hills just light up with gold and orange this time of the year. Shout out to Sam for sending that beautiful picture in to me. Tonight we've got clear skies from the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame all the way south to the World Arena. It's brisk out there, 45 right now. Just a light breeze out of the northeast at three miles per hour. Bright night in the Steel City with clear skies and a near full moon. Officially it was full on Sunday and in October it's called the Hunter's Moon. Keep in mind that frost advisory active 2 a.m. until 8 a.m. for all of eastern Colorado. If you want to prolong the growing season, want to preserve those tomato plants, cover them up or bring it in, uh, that's all that frost advisory means. Here's how cold it is out there right now. Black Forest already at 34 degrees, but pick a location, any location, and it's cold across the Pikes Peak region, but again, it's mid-October. It's supposed to be just about uh, at these temperatures. Across the viewing area, 30s, 40s, and a few 50s across across parts of southeastern Colorado. Here's what will happen tomorrow. That cold front down to the south of us at the surface an easterly upslope flow breezy at times out of the east 5 to 10 maybe 15 miles per hour. Temperatures about 10 degrees cooler than what we had today. So still not a bad day. That front has no water to work with. It's a dry cold front, so you still get blue sky and sunshine all day long. Again, early tomorrow morning, it's really going to be chilly around here, but by 9 a.m. we're already up to 50 degrees. By early afternoon, the 60s return, maybe a little finger of clouds rolling down I-25 by mid-afternoon. Those clouds will dissipate in the sunset tomorrow evening, mostly clear and calm all across the News 5 viewing area. It was a beauty today. I hope you enjoyed it. Pueblo 80 this afternoon, almost 10 degrees warmer than average. And in the springs, we topped out at 75 degrees. You can see an average high this time of the year is 66. Here's how cold we get tonight, and this is why we've got that frost advisory. 35 in both Colorado Springs and Pueblo, dropping well below freezing across some of those high mountain valleys. 29 in West Cliff and Alamosa at 26 degrees. Tomorrow, despite that cold front, still not a bad day for this time of the year. If you're new to our area, we could be shoveling snow this time of the year, but certainly none of that in your forecast. Here's that super seven day in Colorado Springs. I want to jump ahead to Friday because we're going to pick up a downslope westerly breeze. That'll warm us up and make it breezy from time to time, bringing in elevated fire danger in some areas. That uh, downslope flow is going to warm us nicely. 76, that'll be the warmest day we'll have for at least the next seven days. A well-defined cool front over the weekend, so temperatures 10 degrees cooler Saturday, 10 degrees cooler again. Again on Sunday, I've tossed in a token shower possible on Sunday. Seems like a long shot at this point, but I know you may have outdoor activities Sunday. Don't want you to be surprised if something does develop. Pueblo, those parched prairies are going to stay dry for another week. Temperature is going to oscillate cooler tomorrow, warmer Friday with that downslope westerly flow, then cooler again over the weekend. Saturday, definitely without any doubt, no hesitation, the warmest and brightest day of your weekend. Canyon City, a couple of cold fronts teasing you with autumn air, but still not Nothing overly dramatic for mid-October. Bit of a chill on Sunday with mostly cloudy skies. Woodland Park, crisp, cool mountain air at 8,400 feet above sea level. If you see any moisture at all, that'll come Sunday with a few benign showers possible. Operative word possible, otherwise dry for another seven days. Robin Diane.